I mean, I did know that uh, there were official directed video D D movies, but you know what is official D D content right now? Storm Lord's Wrath. Yeah, part of the D D Essentials <laughs> kit. Free digital copy if you buy the Essentials kit, <laughs> which we're playing right now. We just so, we just plug your stuff, Wizards of the Coast. Send us free send us free merch. DiGiorno's. I'm not playing homebrew so I can play your stuff and promote it. <laughs> We're playing Raid Shadow Legend. <laughs> Smash that like button. So well, hit that last time. Oh, it's it's hit that bell, smash that like button, and subscribe. And to be quiet while I does the intro. And I never subscribe, but I always get the updates, so why are they talking about that like button for? <laughs> anyway. Last time Storm Lord's Wrath, you were running some errands in uh, your own stopping ground of a Fandolin. You very quickly realize that uh, things aren't great there, but it's a little bit behind the scenes. Found out that the um, the Shrine of Luck, the Shrine devoted to Timora, has been uh, ransacked and partially destroyed. Find out people have been going missing. Um, and all too late, when he started to put the pieces together, that it was the Cult of Talos and or a very stinky, possibly undead person was uh, responsible for all the mishaps. And um, as you chase down the undead man, found him and a pack of ghouls feasting on a uh, on a victim and uh, he said Merkel, the uh, the god of Merkel Merkel uh, Merkel it's like, you're in our way, he wants you dead and from behind you saw um, Cult of Talos worshipper and her army of kobolds <laughs> Who you thought was this the nice little elf woman that worked at the coster? But um <laughs> nope. She's like, oh what a coincidence, Talos wants you dead too, and you find yourself in the middle of these two armies. So I'm gonna let you as these guys are monologuing about their evil plan position yourself um the way so you're more prepared. Where is the map? Is that allowed? Because we just stumbled in upon them. Hey, the DM said it. Quick okay. question. <laughs> we're already, we're already going to have some issues. So let's right. let, don't make it harder for us. I position myself within screaming range of all the other heroes of Phandalin. <laughs> Basically, I'll, I'll let you stay in this little area that you're in. But uh, you know, I hide. I hide in the hay. No, you can't hide. Yep, you're just position yourself within this little area. Roll, like, roll, roll, roll. Maybe like roll, right roll. here. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I guess you couldn't see my mouse moving around. I could not. I meant <laughs> like you know within this ah. area that you're in. Okay. <laughs> Gonna be... Otherwise known as Thunderdome. Get rid of that too. It's going to annoy me. Thank you. So you're I'm saying gonna... we can't go beyond Thunderdome? Can't we all just get beyond, beyond Thunderdome? Thunderdome? Yes. Yes, oh. we can. I have actually used that phrase once or twice. Naturally, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you can. <laughs> in, in an actual conversation. In there's a Twitter thing or something like that. I remember using it. Can't someone? Someone said it was like, can't we all just get beyond Thunderdome? Thank you, Mystery Science Theater 3000, for being the gem you are. And obviously, we're rolling for initiative, too. <laughs> Initializing. Looks like Luke is going last. Oh, let me uh -oh. get a roll. Profit a roll? Um, of course it rolls off of the 19. <laughs> I think I am actually going last. Okay, last is really just first. If you if you just think about it, like like you act like you passed your first turn. In a game of riddles, you always want to be the guy last in lines, so you could uh, 
hear what the other answers were. So, what kind of weapons are we seeing? Okay, so uh, I'll get to that. Okay. These Did two cult initial, leaders. Are you doing initial individual initiatives for everything we see? Sure. Ooh, yeah, wow. it's gonna be fun. This it's gonna is, be fun. This is intense, Joseph. Um, if I didn't, I'll forget who who went already and That's who fair. That's fair. Um, yeah, with these two cult leaders, one you know um, is Argus Steel. He's a dwarf. He has gray ashen skin, glowing red eyes, as you can see. And uh, Belene Firecrow. He's a red-haired elf who uh, thanked you for finding her Cult of Talos pin. And they're eyeing, eyeing you and eyeing the opposing opposing faction as they uh, prepare. So, Zizix, you want to know? Yeah, I want to know what kind of Basically. weapons that we see. Okay. You see Violene and her kobolds. Um, they have, some, they have uh, short swords. Um, These kobolds look a little tougher. Well, actually, the... Uh, a little tougher than your average kobold. You also average see she kobold. <laughs> she has a bow and arrow. Yeah, they, they look These as tough as nine-year-olds instead of five-year-olds. Yeah. <laughs> More or less. Uh, all these undead guys are unarmed. Okay. But, you know, they have really sharp claws. Got it. So, so, and teeth. And teeth. So since teeth. this will probably be... Complicated, long battle. Let's try to keep things snappy. I'll do my best. That's my new music here. I'm trying to change okay. my audio. There we go. Yeah, I need to make it a little louder. There we go. I did it in my end. As long as it's good so on your end. So at the same time, Argus and Violene go... Attack! And six for army on you all. Cobalt is going to come up to Maruk. Fear you twice. Cast shield. Cast shield. So, on the first one? Uh, it, no, it, I think it, shield lasts... You, you oh, cast right, yeah. it, yeah, you cast in the first one that lasts until your next turn, so he'll have plus five until until the start of his next turn. Um, he, misses both, yeah. he misses both of those. Also, uh, do you want me to roll do you want me to roll for uh, wild magic? Oh, yeah, it's a spell. Alright. Fireball. 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 No, we gotta roll the d20 first to see if anything happens. And the current rating, current challenge for that, I believe, is, let me see here, yeah, current DC for that is two, and I rolled a five, so we're good for now. All right. Now I'm just going to pop that up to three. Okay. Well, I mean, the school runs up. Taxi with his claws. 19. Hits. You take. Excuse me, a little loud. Turn down. Okay. Uh, you take 8 slashing damage. Then we're going to roll a, a Constitution saving throw. Fifteen. Good. Wall is going to come up next to this one. Throw a spear at Maruk. This is. This school. Run up to Sorsashi. Claw attack. 18. Uh, 18 will hit. Take 9 slashing damage and roll a constitution saving throw. 
on save. Confound it. Yeah. As the poison in its claws reaches into your veins, you're paralyzed for one minute. I will, however, use a reaction to getting hits, so go off before I paralyze. I'm going to use Hellish Rebuke. Oh, and I roll like shit. Uh, sorry, he needs to make a uh, a DC 14 dex save. 21. He makes it and he takes uh, half of five, rounded down to two. Fire damage. Fire damage. <laughs> Good job, Hellish Rebuke. Good job. Cobalt's going to throw a spear at Rook. 20. Uh, 20 hits. Take four piercing damage. No. Alright, Why do you keep throwing Merg goes like, why y'all keep throwing these toothpicks at me? <laughs> Zizix uh, is going to cast a summon elemental spell. About here. Oh wow, he's really hurt. He's not that hurt. Um and then he is going to uh, use a bonus action to wild shape into his favorite animal, a giant constrictor snake. Yay! His favorite. Uh, his what favorite. um element? What oh, element it is, is this? it is earth, please. Earth. And you actually have the stats for that. So. I do. Um, they're all. Yeah. So he is, uh, he's got resistance to piercing and slashing and is immune to poison. Okay. Poison damage, excuse me. Um, yeah. And is immune to paralyzation. So that's, oh, the, the, that's the important stuff. Uh, and then this snake is going to kind of move over to about, ooh, I don't know if I want to call that much attention to myself. Right now, um, okay. No, I'm not. This is you know, we're gonna kind of. I'm gonna stay here. No, I'm not. I'm gonna move over and, and, and get in her face. Final answer, okay. So they're on the side yeah. of these uh kobolds, yeah. And so, you know, hopefully. With the intent of getting Veline engaged in melee to make it tougher for her to make some ranged attacks. Okay. If you're paralyzed, Mark, do you get advantage on against you? Uh, it depends on the thing. I will put the paralyzed condition. Oh wait, this that's for you, not I'm not Lemon. But uh. Lemon, he bites at you. Fourteen. Uh, misses. Misses. Trisashi. That last bullet of any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit. Yep. That's a big one. Yep. Paralyzed. Stuck. Sucks. Yep. <laughs> I am paralyzed, Joey. Oh, yes, uh, you, can, you, you can roll to see if you can unparalyze. Con save? Yes. That'll probably do it. 17. Yep. You're I assume paralyzed. that happens at the end of my turn, not the start, so. Well, it's, it's your action. No, no, no. Usually this kind of, kind of it's my action to try and get unparalyzed. Oh, oh wait. Yeah, yeah, double double check that. It's pretty, usually, this kind of stuff is at the end of my turn. At the end of your turn. Yep. So I don't have a turn. Yep. Sorry. 
But I'm un- I'm Stop. deparalyzed. Sally. Before right. we before we move to Sally, I'm sorry, Chris. Um, uh, does my elemental? It says that it shares my initiative and goes immediately after mine. Would that have been right then, or do I need to wait for it to come back around? It goes right after you. So when you did it, okay. after I'm, you happens. <laughs> well, I messed up. So whenever, if you, well, if you we're all punish, used to it. If you want <laughs> to punish me, that's fine. Uh, make an attack. Okay. All right, I'm going to attack the one that was in front of Lemon uh, with my... Where are you? Where are you? Summon Elemental. All right, so I get I did two attacks, uh, so we're going to do both of them on that one. A 6 and a 13. Sorry. Roll 10. Hit 10 D4. It says on hit. Is that the damage or is that the... Oh, my spell attack modifier. I'm sorry. Okay, so a 21 and a 22. Didn't either... Okay, for a 6 and a 13 bludgeoning damage. Which one are you hitting? Uh, The one to the south of women. 6 and 13? Yes. Both two hits, that one's already looking pretty hurt. All right. Thank you for... Mm. Sally, your turn. All right. So, Sally seeing uh, King Zizix and the Mighty Snake go uh, to where it went. Sally shakes her uh, shakes her head and wishes that she's not going to... hope she doesn't do as much damage to him as... Uh, as uh, as possible because uh, she doesn't want to hurt royalty. Um, she runs over here, and uh, she'll definitely take any uh, initiatives or whatever um, uh, upon her. Does she? Which one are you, which one are you attacking? All right, what I'm going to do is from here, I'm going to attack a lot of people with Thunder Wave. I was going to do something like that, but then I got paralyzed, so I couldn't. So everything within 15 feet of me <laughs> gets uh, gets attacked and has to be pushed back. Um, see how many feet? Uh, pushed 10 feet away from me um, if they if they get hit. On a successful save, they only take half damage and don't get pushed. And we will probably so also wake up the entire town. <laughs> three. One, two, three. So basically all these Kobolds plus Baleen and Zizix. Yep. Uh, all of them except for the, um, uh, except for that one. Uh, yeah, that one. Yep. Other so everyone, but that one ends Zizix, and that thunder wave should be loud enough for um, the heroes of Phandalin to answer the cry. In in several minutes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you say that I am out of the range? No, you're in the range. You're going to okay. get hit by it. All right. So I'm going to take eight of that damage. Does it do half damage it's... on a fail? Yeah. Does it do yeah, half yep. damage on a fail? Yep. It does half damage on a fail, yeah. Well, and, then they don't, and they don't get pushed. Oh, oh no, no. If they, half, if they... Half damage on a save. On a save, yeah. Half damage on a save, and they don't get pushed. At the save, uh, 14 con. My First elemental succeeds. is gone. <laughs> First one succeeds. Uh, Wait, does it... One. Um, does it... No, is it... Summon elemental... If you lose concentration, the elemental oh. turns hostile. Oh, oh you're right. So oh. I have, I have lost concentration because of the thunder wave. Wait, uh, why did you roll two concentration? Oh, wait, never mind. That's a. Uh, uh, yeah, it's I, you, right, you rolled it twice. I get advantage, so. Right, but you you rolled it three times. I rolled a constitution save to save against Thunder Wave, which I passed. Then 
because I took damage, I rolled my con my concentration save. At a because damage. he hit the wall. Okay, my mistake. <laughs> uh, th is this the seven elemental from Tasha's Cauldron and everything? I don't know. Is is the literal spell summon elemental? Fourth level conjuration spell. That's correct. It is that. Uh, it does not. You do not lose thing. It is just concentration. He's gone. Well, okay, cool. I, I just, I'm sorry. That was my. You're, opinion. No, you're th you're thinking of another one. There is one that does that. I think. Yeah, it's, it's the higher level ones that do that. Yeah. Okay, so, one of the kobolds gets pushed into you, Maruk. You kind of block it. All of them stayed except for one. They get knocked back a few feet. Wait, can I take an attack against that one that hit me? Or no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, and Vileen senses the vibration in the earth and with lightning quick reflexes actually jumps before the shockwave hits her and lands back, back on the ground. Takes no damage. So Whoa. cool. Pretty awesome. As my bonus action, I teleport back to this location. Yeah, she does a superhero pose as she lands down. Oh no! Three the the three point landing. I hiss approvingly. <laughs> Such a Her. poser. Such a why are you always Such a poser. Such a poser. <laughs> You're always posing. You do this thing with your hair. You flip it like that. <laughs> you know, if you actually did the three point landing, you would probably shatter your wrist into a thousand pieces. Uh, you have to be super Claw. human for it. Claw attack against Lemon, 17. Uh, that hits. Take 5 damage. Want you to do a constitution saving throw. The elemental spirits also... Uh, just gone, check, Jay. are there... Is there an element there. to the scratches? There, there are scratches. Okay, just like slashing or something then? Okay. Slashing. Damage. Uh, damage type, Joey, is what he's asking. Hooray! Cool. Take another. Take a bite out. Bite it. Lemon for this is. Play out of crime. Cobalt sees this and gruff snake. Gruff. This uh, cobalt sees this snake and goes nope. Runs up to Rook. <laughs> Two spear attacks. Nineteen. Uh, matches. Matches. So you take four piercing damage. What kind of creature are you, um, Bryce? I am a snake. A giant I'm... constrictor snake. Okay, uh... And... Just out of curiosity, which ones attacked me? Because I've been attacked four times now, and there's only two beside me. Um. Unless um, you missed your turn. Um. No, I, I don't think we're still in round one, aren't we? Yeah. That's yeah. Good. Oh. Okay. Um. Well, either case, I am going to try to uh, annoy these. Uh, I am going to use Channel Divinity, Turn the Unholy. Uh, as an action, uh, I can... Uh, whatever it's called. Um, uh, basically, anything within 30 feet that is um, a fiend or undead must make a wisdom saving throw of DC 14. On a failure, it is turned for one minute uh, or until it takes damage. It's radius. Uh, thirty foot radius, or, or, or so, no, sorry, within sixty feet. So uh, I'm guessing everything. Or, no, wait, sorry, it is thirty, but still. <laughs> so basically, all the all the undead. Yeah. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so what am I rolling? Uh, what's that was again? Wisdom. Uh, I think it was wisdom. Yeah, wisdom saving throw of DC fourteen. Right. 
one near Sorosashi. What was the number again? Sorry. 14. 14. Fails. One next to you fails. One below you passes. One here fails. This one fails. Yeah, just seeing it. Okay. <clears throat> so passes this one. Fails. And then the the dwarf fails also. So ah. what does turn on what does turn on dead do? It makes you frightened of you? Uh I will I will leave that to Mark because the uh the um, character um, sheet does not specifically state. Specifically under Turn the Unholy, a turned creature must spend its turns trying to move as far away from you as it can, and it can't willingly move to a space within 30 feet of you. It also can't take reactions. For its action, it can only use the dash action, dash action or try to escape from an effect that prevents it from moving. If there's nowhere to move, the creature can use its dodge action. So you have basically sent a bunch of ghoul zombies into the night, running away at 60 feet a uh, turn, for a full minute. So essentially the uh, the fear status. Mm -hmm. Uh not quite because they are these are these they give up their actions and have to run away for you for the full minute. Right, I fear against me. But anyway, it's, it's they are they basically they they are they can do not but haul ass. Mhm. Mm the and um, just, so the I'm dwarf was also undead. Or fiend or something, Joey. I guess so. Joey. Joey. Y yes, it was. All okay. right. Yeah. Making sure we'll you get that get that right. Well, and... that's half the battle over. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you'd love this. I mean, turn undead, man. Just no, yeah. but, no, they're still turn there, on and they still want to eat us. It's just not, they don't have to do it right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And uh, and just I'll, to add I'll, infinite infinite er, emphasis uh, to it, and probably to make it a little more dramatic, I am also going to uh, where is it? There's so many bloody powers in this thing. Uh, sorry, uh, racial. Um. I am also using my bonus action to basically um, uh, large glowing wings end up bursting from my back and basically my just eyes just start glowing uh, a golden hue. And, and theoretically even a halo appears over my head. <laughs> that... Uh, for a minute, I gain the ability to fly, and I can add radiant damage to one attack per round. But I already used my action, so I can't do anything else. You can use your movement to fly. Uh, I'd still get attack of opportunity on one of them. <laughs> it can't take reaction. Yeah, you're right. One of them. Uh, one of them, yeah. <laughs> So once Filene lands on the ground, avoiding the uh, a thunderclap, she takes out her short sword and attacks you, Zizix, oh. three times. Okay. Does a six? Uh, does a fourteen hit? Yeah, you're looking for a twelve. So. So you take nine piercing and ten piercing. Okay. Two of these attacks. And as you're you're reeling from that attack, she is going to flip out of the way. So, so Mark, I don't know much about the hide action. Does she has to be behind cover? So the hide action is mostly going to be up to you. Some people are able to do it in darkness or night. But basically, if somebody can see you, unless you have something that can, an ability that says otherwise, you really can't hide. It's a DM discretion thing. But being right next to a uh, um, 
giant snake. Mm -hmm. Probably not going to be able to hide right there. Jumping behind a building or something, she might be able to do that. A solid snake kind of thing. Yeah. Is that I cardboard can't. box? <laughs> and they know where your last location was, but not where you've been since they last saw you. I'm a pretty solid snake. A lot less now that I got two holes in me, maybe. Yeah, now with, now with an AC of 12. <laughs> two, two, two spear attacks to Maruk. One, two... Uh, bullshit. Shit. You take 10 total piercing damage. Most of them were 19 or above? Yep. Dang. I'm looking. Okay, so this vamp this uh, Argus goes, What in heaven are ya? And he sounds scared. He has to spend 30 feet running away from you. Yep. Nope. Yep. He has to dash too. Yeah. He has to <laughs> dash too. So he's 60 feet. I'm black. Uh, down the alley. <laughs> <laughs> well, Merkel's gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> they didn't tell me they were bringing a holy angel to a knife fight. <laughs> <laughs> two, two spear attacks against Zizix. One, two... Oh, jeez, both crits. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh, no. Oh, jeez. Um, pack deck is beastly. <laughs> ten damage. Ten piercing damage. Just ten, just ten total? They're still kobolds. And, and then eight <laughs> piercing damage. Ah. So, eighteen. Oh, jeez. I know. The school drops the, uh, the arm it was eating. What's my arm out out out. <laughs> They're just it's all doing like round. the cartoony, the cartoony run in place and a whoop whoop sound effect as yeah. they as they as they run off. <laughs> Pretty much. I, so it's like a whoop 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 whoop. Oh, Maruk, your turn. Timely. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I wanted to be quick. <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. Let's see here, but well, yeah. Of all the things I don't have, it's I don't have any, I don't have an AOE. It would work. Uh, all right. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna hit. Let's see here. I'll just hit this. You know, I'm gonna hit this guy right in front of me. You don't have an AOE, but you can cause an AOE. Mm. <laughs> Pick one kobold up and oh. throw him into the other. <laughs> oh, hit a hit a kobold with another kobold. That's a uh, Brunilda move right there. Improvised weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work too well. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit this one in front of me with my axe a couple of times to see what happens. I'm gonna be back in just a moment, guys. Uh, hopefully, I'll be back before uh, my turn. I have to take my dog out for a walk. Yeah, you got plenty of time. Yeah. You, you got about <laughs> 50 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well. Let's uh, just start with our first attack here, see what happens. Uh, ignore the rage yeah. damage. I don't know why I did that. I don't know time that off. So it was 4 damage. Uh, I think. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I see here. It's one D, five plus one, five plus six. Plus, oh no, I just yeah. Uh, I think that. Okay, roll your next one. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I, I think Rage is off. Okay. Oh. Well, try again. Make sure. Well, uh... 18, yeah, 12. 
seem pretty hurt. All right, I can't really move, and I. Oh, rage was off. Uh, yeah, it, rage was off. So that's the great damage. Um, I just I can't really move unless I want to take a whole lot of. Yep. So make a decision. I'm just. You know what? Not much I can do. The bonus actions I can take. I think I'm done. Okay. I'll give you. Two pokes with the spear, Maruk. Twenty-two um, and eighteen. Well, hold on, quick, quick question. This is a new turn. We've come back to the uh, top of the order. Yep. I cast shield again. No, it's a reaction. Wait until you get hit. I did. He, he did say I got hit. Oh. A twenty-two and eighteen. I cast shield. It it nullifies one of those. Yeah, you take four piercing damage. Which, oh, and since I cast a spell, all right, let's roll that d20. Okay, Will it finally be time? Them. It's not like Claw attack to lemon. You're right, I did attack you more than twice. I'm not sure how that happened. Maybe did I'll they have, um... Time. No, not time Still yet. Bite. Uh, Bite to lemon. 18 hit. Yep. Take sudden biting damage or piercing damage. You're from the distance. Get the angel! Uh, constitution saving throw? Enough for bite. Okay. The elemental right. spirit is also gone, Joe. You can delete that. I thought this was not under his control anymore. No, no, no. no we do I double checked it. It was. Um, that's another spell that does that. This particular one uh, just is concentration. Yeah, because that was one of them. I thought it was the spirit. Um, two spirit attacks. So Zizix. Ooh. Take eight, no nine piercing damage. Huh? Snake didn't really get to do much. <laughs> he's not. He's not done yet. <laughs> he's got. I'm back. I'm back. It's just a little bleeding. It's still good. It's still good. Just but the scratch. I'll take an attack of opportunity on that one. We've run away in fear. So yeah, he's still. He's you still moving. Yeah, he's still moving. You still get an opportunity attacks on him. Oh, yeah, I didn't smudge, did I? Yeah. No. Uh, 21 to hit, 14 magical slashing damage. I thought you meant him attacking you for some reason. No. As you hit him, <laughs> I would never suggest that. <laughs> he starts running, and when you hit him, he starts limping really bad. He's running away from you. Actually, then it, since he takes damage, he's no longer he, he's no longer turned. I believe. No. Is that true? Uh, yes, that uh, that is what it says. Oh, and it does say that. I did not know that, and my character probably wouldn't know that, so I would have just done it. But being turned only lasts one round, right? Uh, one, one minute. No, one minute. Or. Huh? Keep it on screen again, so I'll make sure. <laughs> I got it. Uh, there are so many attacks and things on this. It is turned for one minute or until it takes damage. Right. Jeez. Yeah, those things are just... <laughs> yeah, as I said, turn undead is kind of a beastly, spe beastly effect. But this one's unholy. Oh, but... yeah, this is like... Yeah. Uh, but I can only do it once at uh, one time. <laughs> once for a long rest. Uh, yeah, and it it um, it's the same slot as pretty much all of the other paladin abilities. Like I I can't uh, enhance my my weapon 
um, I, um, if I do this one. So, but Sally yeah, does, it, it, it's Sally does a sixteen hit you. Uh, sixteen does not hit me. It's Cobalt tries to spear you, but you manage to block it with your shield. It's a very situational spell. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, I see. It's basically turn on dead, but given to you a paladin instead of a cleric. That's it, it, it's. Yep. I think identical otherwise. Otherwise. This is your turn. All right. Uh. <sighs> I think Zizix is going to use his bonus action to unwild shape so that we can get another spell going. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to use... So here's a question for you. Can Zizix appear anywhere in the space that the Constrictor Snake takes up? In the, if he reverts form? Or would it be the middle? I would, say, I would say you can choose any space. Awesome. So I am going to go pop, and we're going to appear maybe here. And can I go around? Like, I want to run away. I want to get a little, like, can I go around behind this building and end up something like, oh, there's walls. Okay, I have to go in front of it, maybe. I think it's a wall. It's a, uh, the border of the map. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to move there. <laughs> and then I'm going to cast Conjure Animals. And um, what I am doing, that's going to be out of my third level. And I am going for two challenge rating one or lower. And I am trying to call upon the power of the bears would be ideal. But... Stump, but you know that's obviously up to. Ooh, toads would be fun. Ah, bears. Oh, level one. Yeah, two bears. of them at challenge level one. The, the bears. So, depending on what I get out of there. Two brown bears. Ooh. In front of you. Nice. And it does say rule initiative for the summon creatures as a group, but for simplicity's sake, do you just want to share initiative and they go after me? That, that's sure. what, as um, a... Oh, with you, that's what you mean. Yeah, I mean, that's fine for now. Um, um, what are their hit points? In uh, their hit points are... A brown bear is... The hit points are brown bear. 30, 34 each, AC 11. These are not armored bears. No, not in the slightest. Two face you know, bears appear in front of you. Do you know that uh, four little girls can defeat a bear? Yeah. What? Is this in reference to something that I'm not privy to? Is this Goldilocks? I will show. They are summoned. They are summoned. Wonderful. Give me a control over them. Oh, brown bear. That's still oh, direct using, control. You have use, oh, this is a brown bear. Um, ah, I get a four little girls magic the gathering. Uh, Joey, I see what you did with the extra attack on Lemon. You move, because I do this all the time, too. You move the wrong ghoul or zombie that was up towards him. Probably, probably true. Yeah. All right. Because we have two zombies that haven't moved at all. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I was confused. This one's going to come up to here. And this one's going to come up to here. And the both of these bears are going to attack the kobold to their north. Uh, we're going to go the one on the left first. He is going to do a bite and a claw. Bite. Wow. Miss. Miss. 
You guys suck. All right, and then the one on the right is going to do the same thing to the kobold to his north. Okay, a little bit better. A lot better, excellent. One versus a crit. <laughs> yeah, so if those if a 21 hits, then that kobold to the north of the right one is taking 27 damage. Uh, 11 piercing and the rest slashing. Um, bite and an attack, right? Correct. He does bites. He does a bite. Or and a claw. So then 18. Or uh, 16. No, because he, he did. Hold on a second. The one on the left took absolutely nothing because they were both misses. And then the one on the right got an 11 piercing on the bite and then a 7 plus 9 because it was a crit on the claws. That's what I said. 16. 27. 11 plus 9 plus 7. So basically the snake just slithered behind this building <laughs> and then in his place two giant bears charged out. Mm. <laughs> like, power. oh my god. <laughs> like some sort of hydro magic. <laughs> the, the power of the <laughs> wild. The snake, you cut its head off. Two bears take its place. <laughs> <laughs> Il Hydra. This is a saucer. Um. Really want to go after Argus there. Um. I will attack the, uh, the dude in front of me. Seventeen hits. Uh, yes. <laughs> For eight magical slashing damage. Place it down. They're not that tough. Just a lot of them. A lot of more. To run over to here. Do this properly. Um, may I make can this I see, Can I see Argus in the distance? Yeah, um, I know he's supposed to be like far away, but uh, let's say he's about twenty feet away. Yeah, to to calculate where he is, because he probably spent thirty feet going there and then dash another thirty feet. Um, so he's probably okay. Yeah, I'll take your twenty feet thing then. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cast. Was a bonus say... action. Oh. Okay. Two things I can do. Uh, um, may, may, can I make a suggestion? Uh, what? Uh, do we like, really do? While he's turned in fear and running away, I, he's I not know attacking us. Technically, that's the thing, but he's gonna get away. And Zorasashi in character is like, I can't let the zombie guy get away, so I am going to chase him. I'm just trying to say that maybe do, maybe do it with the. We'll be gone. We will not be able to know where he is. Like in character is is Zorasashi is like I've got to stop him from running. I'm going to hex him. Um, yeah. he, he's not always the intelligent one. <laughs> no. But I am going to go ahead and hex him. Okay. Hopefully, I can spot him. You see him, like, try to turn around and run back. And he goes, Oh, no, Miracle's gonna be so mad at me. Mar <laughs> I'm gonna tell Miracle Mar on you! And Martus is gonna kill me again! <laughs> <laughs> Are those names we would know? Yes. Well, Miracle, you know, um, from the brands on the uh, zombies. Oh, that's right, and yes. Hands. But that'll be my turn. Well, she sounds like a new name. So Sally goes underneath the control console of her battle mech, and she uh, lobs a uh, very like shiny grenade into this area over here. And uh, it explodes, and in a force that's equivalent to Shatter level 2, attacks everything in a 10-foot range.
10 foot uh, 10 foot block 10 foot uh, radius from the uh, the point okay. sorry hidden violin and then these three kobolds down here okay um, constitution uh, 14 that's the save that they have to make yeah. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, oh. This middle one fails. And it gets like, shakes so much, all of its bones break. <laughs> yes! And half damage. You're killing innocent cobalts. Uh, <laughs> we're not innocent. You stabbed me a lot. They hurt Uncle Maruk. You were a snake. You're scary. Also, we your snake had a just... your, your snake had an attack of a, with a reach of ten feet. You probably missed a couple of uh, potential opportunity attacks. Mm -hmm. Didn't realize the reach. Yeah. Yeah. Cobalt goes. I just wanted to. I just wanted to sell general goods to villagers. As it does. <laughs> Uh, oh, 15 con save, so she takes half that damage. Huh? She tries to jump out of the way, but the force is just too powerful and she kind of trips up. Good job. Good job, Sally. Yeah, uh, and the other two just took half damage. Uh, do you hit the two by the bears too? Uh, no, no. I, I get just the the okay. three that are like immediately to um to my right, and then uh, the lean. Come on, Violet. Bar <laughs> Barely messed up my hair. <laughs> The school is sleeping. Now it runs up to lemon. Claw attack. 21 hits. It takes 7 slashing damage and roll constitution saving throw. Uh, 13, you're good. You. The school begins to run away. Do you attack it? Um. <laughs> no, I'm gonna focus on the other. What a cool spell! I love it. <laughs> oh, wait. as I said, up. Turn on dead. It's a fun little spell. All right. Again, we I know it's turning on the holy, but come on, it's, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's, it's the turn the undead. The turn the unholy. They just named it for that for the paladin. It, it looks identical from when I just quickly clamped at it. Cobalt's yeah. gonna throw a spear at you, Zizix. Okay. You can see fast all that bear. Yes. Okay, fair. Oh. All right, now we're looking for an AC 17, though, because I have a shield in my real form. You take six six piercing damage. <laughs> and uh, roll that con nope. save. I don't want to. Please. Ah, well. <laughs> Bears remain. Lemon, your turn. Yay, I finally get to attack something. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to the for the one on the left first. Okay. 18. 18 hits. hits. <coughs> you want to hit the one below you? It's almost dead. Uh, sure. Uh, that can be for that one. Uh, 11 bludgeoning. Hey. Smash its head in. 
Okay, and for the next one. Don't forget about that rate. 26 hits. Don't forget about that radiant damage you can do. Yep, I, I was saving it. And. Uh, how much was that again? 13. Uh, just a moment. Uh, plus an additional eight damage uh, of radiant. Just a, Which just a straight eight. Uh, yeah, just a straight eight. Okay. All right, wait. Good. Still alive, but you basically knocked the everything out of it. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't like the undead like? Don't they take, like, double damage from Radiant? They might have. Uh, Not all of them, but some. Most most probably would, yeah. Depends on the creature. Yeah. Finally, it's kind of laughing at all the ghouls just running in a random direction. direction. It goes... It's like, it goes, uh... What was his name? Uh, What's the matter, Skeel? Afraid of a little adventurers, <laughs> itty bitty little adventurers. I mean, I was size giant a while, a little, a few minutes ago, a few seconds ago. And I am, and I am a very large elephant man. There ain't nothing. You were giants a few moments ago, and then you went flaccid. Uh, I thought it was crazy. <laughs> She's gonna run up to you. She's gonna run up to you, Sally. Oh no! One attack, two attack, three attacks. Fifteen. Does fifteen hit? Nope. You take eleven piercing damage as he strikes you with their swords. Hmm. So that does I have that's half damage because I passed something. No. You take eleven damage. Eleven damage. damage, damn. You okay over there, Sally? Sally gives a thumbs up. Oh, yeah. and uh, since she's next to her kobold friend, she gives her some extra damage. Ah. So one of those attacks does an extra nine. So you have your back turned, and she basically jumps onto this uh, hay, a hay, hay sack and uh, surprises you in the back. Yep. Uh, Sally uh, angrily pushes a button on her control console, and then an audio tape plays, and you hear Draco Malfoy going, My father will hear of this! That's it. And before you, she turn, you, before you turn around, she uh, jumps out of the way. Well, annoying Hunt grappling when, reaction. It's annoying Huntress when a character does that Huntress. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I got these boots for a reason. Rook to spear attacks twenty takes six yeah. damage. Oof. Is... is still still running. <laughs> you know, if he trips and falls and takes falling damage. <laughs> yeah, they, that would do it. But rules is written. You need to fall ten feet. Five feet. Yeah. Into the well. <laughs> I'm gonna do something here. Just so it's interesting. It's not interesting goes, yet. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. He goes, Lynch! Uh, his, um. Oh, God of Death! Remove this curse of frightfulness from me! He rolls a. basically a religion check. We're going for divine intervention here. 
but hope his feet are still running. But I'm going to say he's far enough from him at this point where I know when I say in the rules, but he's far enough at this point where he doesn't feel like running anymore. Well, as mm-hmm. long as you can see him, right? Yeah. Nope. I think so. Nope. Not that I read, at least. I mean, if you don't, if you had, if you a turn creature him, must spend know. its turn trying to move as far away as you as possible, and it can't willingly move to a space within 30 feet of you. It also can't take reactions. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, no, the, 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 it's not the frightened condition at all. They are not frightened at all. They are turned. I, actually, from, from, that, from that wording, it sounds like they just need to use the first action. Uh, or, or the first turn uh, to run away. Afterwards, they can do whatever, they just can't get closer. Turned creature must spend its turns trying right. to move oh, as far turns as possible. Up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Pesky plural. <laughs> well, that's turns as in a minute. You're feared your, your fear for a minute, so. Yeah. <laughs> but we're not going to get mad at you for, for doing things, because I am chasing him down right now, so. Yeah, but I mean that also means you have an action to run to run more, so that does mean you have to dash. It literally says for its action, it can it can only use the dash action or try to escape from an effect that prevents it from moving. Right. Okay. Well, he is but, trying to escape from it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. If you want to, you want to, you want to call a director's cut thing or something, go for it. Surprise legendary action. <laughs> so what's there for? Eight. Bryce, this, this bear takes eight piercing damage. Alrighty. Which one? Left or right? Top one. Okay. Awesome. Eagles. Okay, that one's still afraid. Maybe he knows heroism. Maruki, your turn. Which one of these? Which one of these kobolds looks the worst? The one right. Uh, well, it's dead. Um, they're all no, pretty equal. The worst. <laughs> they're all equal health around you. Uh, I'm gonna. Around. I'm gonna get the one that looks like it might be hitting on Sally because that's. Okay. That's not. That's not kosher. Are you sure you want to word it that way? Yes, in fact. <laughs> 25 hit yeah 25 hits 10 damage damage you want to talk again yeah Slashing. He's still standing. Um. Hmm. Not much I can do. So I think, yeah, I think that's my turn. Right. Oh wait, actually, it's a bonus action. Is that right? Can I do that? Is it bonus? Is it, can I spend sorcery points as a bonus action, or is that? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I'm converting. Um, I'm take. I'm using two points to make a level one slot. Okay. And that's my turn. Two attacks against the spare. One, two. This is 15 hit. Yes. Take seven piercing damage. <sighs> Cobalt's going to continue to hit against Sally. Mm. Ooh. First one. You take you take seven uh, sixteen piercing damage. Damn for that from that guy. As it, as it hits a vital a vital uh, part of your machinery. No. And then his, next attack, 
His next attack does seven piercing damage. Mistress, I'm doing a good job! <laughs> Look at me! Cool. So frightened. This is extra sure. Alright. I am going to. Oh, she moved. We need to get these. We need to tear down these kobolds. Because this pack tactics are killing us. Oh, but I hate her. I want to kill her directly, though. Uh, Wait, but if we're. Okay, fine, fine. Hold on a second. I got to pop this guy out. Do you want Sally to die to kobolds? No. Yes, Sally's immortal. She could take it. Okay. I am going to. I want that to be a little farther north. You have to, you have to see it, the location. Okay. Oh, that's a good point. Good point. So, Zizik, that, that's where I want to place a spell that I'm going to cast. Well, now we're going to put it. Or should I get her? Uh, fine, fine. There's a there's a new icon on here. I think it's for light for a time of day. But I need to enable. Oh 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 yeah, they added a new uh thing for lighting that you can add to dynamic lighting really easily with just a click and it places a yeah. a lighting icon. But we don't have dynamic lighting on right now, so yeah. If I move Is to it? this location, do you judge that I can see where I have put that AoE homunculus? Yeah, you can see me on the... Okay, perfect. So, um, I am casting Ice Storm, and that is... Um, oh, oh so foot... yep. there's a little bit of a quirk with this, because it's an aura on a creature, not a spell effect. So right. you actually have to do, um, you have to do uh, something different to get the proper. What's the what's the radius? Twenty foot. Twenty feet. Twenty foot radius. Yeah. So, drop it to uh, probably fifteen point five. Yeah. So Why? you have to do. Ah, uh... <gasps> uh, I understand. Because he yeah, takes because out some of it. Yeah, so you would have had an extra five feet on each side. That is a so, really good um, point. Okay. In that case, we are going to make it... There. Okay. And um, so what happens is a... I mean, you can read it there that just a big old... Uh, hailstorm very very fast uh happens in that radius um and every creature in there has to make a deck save against dc 14 mm. and okay, so that cold. excludes the only friendly if i'm not mistaken is going to be my bear up there it's not in enough of the uh the radius so it's a deck save wonderful yep deck save One, two, three, four, cold. One, two, three, four. Only one of them. Okay. So, um, the ones that didn't save are going to take 16 plus 19. Uh, is going to take 35 damage, 16 bludgeoning, and 19 cold. And the one that did save is going to take eight bludgeoning and nine cold. Do you roll maximum for all those numbers? It almost <laughs> eight and eight, and then five, three, five, six. No, that's pretty damn good. Okay, I, see it. I see it here. So ice shards pierce this cobalt right through the body. He's dead. Um. 
It's a 14. Yeah. He has a leaf Does on the wind. advantage on saving throws? Do kobolds get advantage on saving throws? I was, just, I was wondering if the pack tactics does that. Does this no, matter? pack tactics just give advantage on attacks. <laughs> 19 cold damage, wow. And 16. That's a great roll. <laughs> <laughs> this is to make up for my elemental disappearing right away. <laughs> this one gets pierces right through the skull. It was the nice one that wanted to help you. <laughs> I might. Oh, come. Nothing. This one passes. Doesn't matter. Ice, <laughs> ice skull through the skull. <laughs> it's like that, that scene from um, uh, Day After Tomorrow when the giant hail starts falling. <laughs> yeah. This one. This one runs away just in time. Um, well, this one gets hit. He's right on but he's so head. badass, he just he just takes the ice school out of his shoulder and goes, <laughs> I am still alive! <laughs> I'm bleeding internally, but alive. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. My <Is> looks <laughs> kind of horrified. <laughs> beloved hey, no, you can do that. <laughs> hey Zizix, I shot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell one of my bears to roll his eyes at me. <laughs> I see she what like, you did there. <laughs> yeah, but she's like in disbelief that uh, nearly half her kobolds are killed off in a single attack. She's like, she sets her eyes on you. Many of them I've raised from not an acorn. Now that spell is essentially the druid version of fireball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, so that was my action. Um, I don't think I'm going to change <coughs> yet. Um, a fourth, fourth level, yeah. <laughs> it was, it was a big one. Um, and then, so my bears are going to go. The, um, the one on the. We'll start with the one on the left attacking the one between the bear and Maruk. So, uh, going to do a bite and a claw. So a ni 19 and a 10. The bite hits. Okay, 12 piercing on that one. Okay. And then uh, the bear on the right attacking that one living kobold. Um, a crit bite. Wow. Well, I used all my good damage rolls. Um, the crit only does 10 piercing, and then the claws are going to miss as well on that one. Are you hitting the one? Uh, the one that's living? This one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, uh, swallow the hole. <laughs> the bear does not look, prefer the taste of kobold. Yeah. He and does. In that case, if uh, the bear is going to use, if that bear is going to use some movement, to how fast can he move? Brown bear forty to go. Just, or should I get? Nah, we're gonna go over there to get up in Vileen's business. Where was he? Is there any route that I can take that would have made that without? No, but if I go there. Yeah, that works. That works. If I that's where I where I want to get is up in her face, and if oh. that brings me close enough to that living kobold for a uh, opportunity attack, I'll yeah. accept that. But I think that I passed around it. I didn't see your path. I did. Oh. I went like that. I mean, you had to pass through this little area here, so that would have been an opportunity attack. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, these. These ones are dead, so you can just go up there if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, you're it, good. Okay. You're good. It's Rasashi. You're just avoiding that one. Yeah. Uh, so Argus is still running, correct? Yeah. He's like trying to find a. Yeah. He's trying to he open was... up doors, trying to run in. Okay. Uh, he's like, I want to. He's like really. He's like really embarrassed. I'm uh, going to get run up. Uh, can I get within 30 feet of him? 
with a single movement. Like you hexed him, so can't you teleport? Thirty feet. So can I get within thirty I mean, feet? Let's just, let's just say yeah. Okay, yeah, I will do that, and then I will I will teleport right to him. And I'll uh I'll say Hello. It's like General Kenobi. Um Hello there. He goes, What did your friend do to me? I cannot use my mind. Oh, scared can't to use, death of him. You can't use your eyes either, and I I uh I cast darkness. Okay. I take out a little knife. Knife. I cast darkness on it, so I'm holding the uh, the, the object that darkness is on. <laughs> Dropped concentration on the hex, so in hindsight, I should have used my other thing. But I'm surrounded by darkness, and I will step about five. Uh, put about put a five foot gap with, within each of us, so he can't just reach out and hit me. Well, he can. He's so frightened. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I'll stand right next to him then. Make sure he's not going to go anywhere. Uh, that'll be my turn, because that's action, bonus action, and movement. All right, Sally. All right, so Sally is going to uh, rush over to here. Why can't I move? Oh, the invisible wall. Uh, rush right up to here, and uh, comically wind up her fist to take a big old smack at this lady who's been really mean to her. Eleven, okay. I'm assuming, does not hit. It's not hit. All right, and she tries a, another hit. A oh, hit, a very fine hit. Mm-hmm. Right, and then that is a bonus okay. action. Uh, I'm going to cast um, my defensive field, which gives me eight temporary hit points. Because I know she's going to hit me back. Slap battle. <laughs> <laughs> Thus concludes my turn. So we're actually, uh, well, that's just just uh, thunder damage. Mm -hmm. um, so people in these houses reaction. that were. The pieces of the, the people in the houses that were around are just completely awakened by all these thunder claps. <laughs> yeah, They're, like doors are opening up, but she's gonna dodge slightly out of the way as one of the punches land. You know, what, for a critical, no, it all hits. So, right. So these ghouls are still standing. A bite out of lemon. You take seventeen piercing damage as one of his has his uh, teeth sink right into a right into an artery. Ow! Still scared. Wait. Yep. Are any kobolds still alive? Yep. One still alive. Two. Two. Yeah. There's wasn't yeah. there one. There's one up here, right? And there was one next to me. I don't know if he has a initiative. <laughs> one messed up. Yeah, it wasn't even on the board. I thought it was thorough. It's not. Almost. We'll say they're both going to attack at the same time. Same time here. Two attacks against Baruch. 
One, two. 22 hits. Take seven piercing damage. Seven? Seven. All right. Someone's going to throw a spear at you. This is... Let me in your turn. The ghoul next to you is really, really hurt. Uh, if not, he's about to be. Nineteen. Nineteen hits. Dead. Dead. Uh, I'm going to flutter over here. I, I, seeing that all the ghouls are away, I'm going to flutter over here and uh, uh, decide to help out a bit with the kobolds. <laughs> okay. You get one more attack. Nat 20. <laughs> oh, uh, plus 8 <laughs> radiant. <laughs> Weren't we worried about dying horribly or something? Didn't wasn't that a thing? Uh, so we also haven't had to deal with the ghouls and the vampire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, I essentially that's... just cut the uh, I, uh, I I I I put it into a two turn a two round uh, fight. <laughs> yeah, and they're gonna be back. Still alive. After twenty damage. Yeah. Wow. Tough. Still alive. Um, I'm also going to use a bonus action to heal myself. <laughs> oh, uh, healing word. Eileen's going to take a bonus action, flip over this bear. Run to the side of this building. Matrix walk on the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she just couldn't bear it. But um bump. <laughs> going to light crossbow Zizix for 20. 20 damage or 20 to hit? 20 uh, to hit. It does. Take 7 piercing. And since you're caught so off guard, <laughs> you take an additional 8. Wow. Whoa! Okay. Oh, sh she All rolled right. really bad with that. Yeah, after 46, yeah. <laughs> no. Would you call those two separate sources of damage? Or Same one damage. source? Okay. Then I only need to beat a 10. Yes. I was hoping I would have rolled really good. You got to roll something crazy. Yeah. I was reading an article about spiders earlier, and I missed how Valine got to that spot. She backflipped Matrix and walked. Matrix walked. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she she basically has that thing where you can run away without getting opportunity attacks. Because yeah. my teleport boots. <laughs> Un uncanny action or something like that. Uh, or the mobile feet, which means she has levels. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wow. So she's most, most likely on, on Candy Dodge or whatever the, the stat block, the monster stat on that is. Wait, that's not what it's called. When you have, when you're the. I'm saying escape. Right. Yeah, it's, yeah something. It's, it's something like that. It's what she matrix walks. Argus. Can't see like a thing unless he's got special eyes. Yoza. 
I can't say a thing. I don't have special eyes. <laughs> and he, uh, he runs straight into the wall. Taking some damage. <laughs> hey, hey. There you go. That Thanks was more damage. Now, you know, does he does he run into the wall away from me so I get an attack of opportunity? Huh. Um, I won't do that. I won't do that to you. <laughs> yeah. He runs into like a, a brick wall that he can't see. And uh He goes, ah. Uh, should have been running into more walls. <laughs> and he's going to attempt to uh, to hit you, Sasashi. Disadvantage. So disadvantage. Nine. Misses. 21. 21 will hit. Do you take... Six piercing damage. Okay. Uh, five necrotic damage. Your hit point total is reduced by five. Okie doke. Okay. Uh, so let's, ch let's chase the vampire. It'll be a great idea. I, I need to take see... a constitution modifier. Or constitution check. Yeah. Save, yep. sorry. So, nope. Come on, roll. So, oh, it was almost a fucking 15! Ah! So, so mad. Darkness, darkness drops. Darkness goes away. And you see uh, Argus's nose that was broken from hitting the wall <laughs> only snap back into place after he uh, and his fangs are dripping with your blood. All right. Rook. Um I'm I'm just going to hit this guy hit this guy with my axe. My axe. It's right, it's right yeah, next yeah, to 21 me. 21 on that second disadvantage thing. Ouch. Ah. Ten damage. Yeah. He slices his head off. The same head that cheerfully tried to read the the uh, order form to you. No, I mean I I feel slightly guilty, but they're attacking us now, so that's life. Yeah, it's and... it, it's like the cats of the crazy cat lady being all nice and stuff earlier, but now she's told mm. them to sick on uh, sick them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna move the birds for the bird lady in the home alone. And I'm gonna move and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna hit this hit this uh everything else. Nope, yep, that's about it. Well, I'm gonna hit this guy with my axe too. That's he seems to be fairly unbloodied. It's like he was standing around watching everybody else die. Yeah. So he's so Eighteen. Eighteen hits. Takes nine slashing damage. Pretty sure the rest of the ghouls are all frightened. Bun. Are we gonna have to deal with them eventually? Or are they just gonna leap, run away from the scene entirely? <laughs> Up to them if they want to come I'm having out. them just hang around <laughs> the back lots. Out of sight. Um... <laughs> They look like the missing people from town, and they get invited back into their old homes. <laughs> Gary, I'm looking for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Two spear attacks to Baruch. Twelve misses. Twelve misses. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Ciz Cizics. All right. If this is your best, then. I'm embarrassed for you. Um, embarrassed. Lemon, <laughs> Lemon and Maruk, how are you guys doing hit points wise? Lemon first. Um, I am uh, less than half. Okay. I'm also 
Uh, I'm right about in half. Okay. I, should, I can heal one of you. Um, Lemon's got heal abilities herself, yeah. so I'm going to come up to Maruk, and I'm going to, out of a third level, give a Cure Wounds. So you're going to take heal 15. Man, those aren't great rolls. But you deal 15. Um, and that is going to be his turn. And then... Actually, I moved 30. Hey, 15 like, is... 15 is a lot of HP. Don't yeah. move. Okay. Good, good. And then... So then the bears are going to move. This bear is going to come here and... Bite and slash at Valine for the following. <laughs> does, does a crit bite hit? <laughs> These bears are awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah. Does a does a seventeen hit though? Oh yeah, it just hits. Okay, in that case, she is going to take thirteen piercing and twelve slashing from that bear. Here. She's going to uh, It's gonna take half damage on one of those. So after taking that big hit, she immediately takes a dodge action. Takes half Fine. that damage. It's all about the matrix. Dodge this <laughs> and <laughs> And then this bear is going to come up on her other side and do the same thing. Hopefully even better. Nope. Um, so crit failed on the bite, but rolled a 25 on the claws for 12 slashing. Yeah. You know, I, I would have thought, like, in that scene of the Matrix where the Trinity says, dodge this, like, the, the agent should be fast and smart enough to have grabbed the gun out of her hand while she was saying dodge this and like snap her was, wrist. I think that was for the audience. <laughs> oh. See, the Matrix was a movie. A no. movie. No, it, it's just it was slowed down for the audience. She said it at <laughs> super speed. Oh, that's what ah. you're okay. okay, that actually it was, checked, it was a continuity that. error. She said it afterwards, but they, they messed it up in editing. <laughs> the Trinity shot first. <laughs> so the whole movie actually takes place in two seconds, real time. They had to slow the whole thing down for us. Yeah, the agent they they uh, edited the agent moving out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that is the oh, end dude. of my bears. Oh, I'm a little bears. homebrew here, and with Argus being his own self again, he's able to gain control of these ghouls once more. Oh no! You start, to, you start to see them run from the alleyways towards you. Oh, you hate to see that. Hate Definitely. To see hate to see it. Versace. I am going to look at Argus being very mad that everything has... My darkness has dropped. And I am going to cast Branding Smite. Uh, shouldn't have rolled that, but... After, basically, uh, my next hit will do an additional 4d6 dice damage, Radiant. And I'm going to attack with my Katana. First, 17 to hit, 24 to hit. It will do 7 plus that initial... I'm sorry, uh, 11 magical slashing damage plus 12 radiant damage. Magical. He is um, also... Uh, sheds dim light in a 5 foot radius and can't become invisible. Not that I think he could, but he is shedding light. We are not going to lose him. Second I'm almost... Attack. I'm almost yeah. positive that vampires are weak to radiant. Well, that's why I tried it, because... Second attack. Another snap 17 on the die. 
for an additional... Ooh, even better. 13. Warlocks get, Warlocks get uh, two attacks? I do, because I'm a Hexblade. Okay. <laughs> it's one of the invocations I got. <laughs> With my pack weapon only, so... 13. Yep, so a total of uh, 24 damage plus an additional 12 radiant damage that turn, so... How's he looking? He takes a radiant, a radiant damage again? No, 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 no. The that was I was just totaling everything up. Okay. He took the initial 12 damage. The initial 12 radiant damage. Still standing. Um... That's all I can do. So, yeah, that's it. Sally. All right. So, uh, Sally pushes a button on her control console, and then a recording of King Zizek saying, Dodge this, uh, <laughs> plays on the speakers. <laughs> and uh, she unleashes a hellfire of, uh, of uh, magic missiles level six onto uh, Valine. <laughs> Yeah, missile shooting out of left, right, up, down, all parts of her body just, like, come flying right at Valine's face. I feel like Sally at this point is an honorary kinku. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> all the hit. Magic missile, that's... Oh. 23 damage. <laughs> Oh, oh, Wedzy. She's lo definitely looking hurt. Shield's dead. Lemon, your turn. Ah. Been so long, I almost fell asleep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's, I'm kidding. Uh, I am going to go for the ghoul that's right beside me. I'm guessing a 13 will miss. 13 hits. Oh. Ooh. Uh, uh, 16 plus 8. One hit kill. Dead. One hit wonder kill. Uh, let's see. I think they've got the cobalt handled. So, um... I'm probably going to do something stupid, and yeah, I can get there. And I'm going to uh, uh, fly down to this one and uh, hit this one as well. And just to add to it, I'm also going to be using, uh, what's it called? Uh, Searing Smite. <laughs> How long does that video oh, game last? Like for, uh, one like, minute. Like for a minute. Yeah, one minute. Uh, Non-concentration. Uh, uh, non uh, it's a uh, it's a racial ability. Yeah, yeah. Woohoo! So that. Thirteen. Oh wait, twenty-four. Yeah. And let's say. Plus the eight. Uh, me. Measly, uh, two fire damage. Uh, the, now it has to do a con save of DC 14, otherwise it gets set on fire. Concentrates really hard. Concentrates so hard that he falls over dead. <laughs> Is he on fire, though? <laughs> He's, then he catches fire. He explodes. Do a little gif animation of fire. 
And uh, that'll be it. Eileen looks at her pendant and goes, My life for the Stormlord. Your village will be drowned by the sea. Does a matrix slip over the kobold, hops onto uh, Rook's head, lands behind Zizix. And uh, yeah, I can't take opportunity because you can't. She's got that freaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Harrigan. <laughs> Three short sword attacks. Oh, Only one of them hits. Whew. Take 10, 10 piercing damage. Alrighty. Roll that concentration. So, I'm gonna have to roll it three times. I think. Oh, only right? one hit. Oh, only, only one, one hit. hit. Okay, that's right. Okay. Here we go. Yes! Yay! If only I could do that! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I lost my elemental right away. <laughs> Thanks to Chris. You you slithered into 16 kobolds. I saw you. Well, but I <laughs> did. But, but Chris is the one yeah, who made him lose it. I'm the one who made him lose it, but I had already planned this attack that I was going to do before he moved there, and I wasn't going to change it for nothing. It's called I the robotic al That's algorithm fair. for the robot. And it was a risk say, versus hey, reward. Yeah. <laughs> that is uh, definitely fair. And so, I will say so I didn't realize she could just disengage whenever she wanted. <laughs> yeah. So is did Argus take uh, radiant damage last turn? Yes. He did right. Yes. Okay. So the wounds on him are not healing. He looks very, very annoyed by that. <laughs> Gonna take a slashy with the claws. Gonna take eight slashing damage to Sashi. You hit me? Yep, for twenty. Oh yeah, that'll hit. It's a fourteen hit. Just misses. Please say it hit. No, just misses. <laughs> Please <laughs> it's fine. fine. All right, another homebrew. It's fine. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, he killed my darkness. I have to kill him. <laughs> he gets advantage on this. He wouldn't be able to run away. It would have been awesome. Nope, lucky shot in the dark. Frustrated. You see him grab onto the, uh, the wall next to you. He climbs up it. Leaves my, uh, reach. Yeah, you can do an opportunity. Climbs up the wall like Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking pissed because I got a 19 on the die and was gonna do my thing that crits on a 19. <laughs> but I don't, so it's just normal hits right there. Nine mental slashing. Did it look like his climb was unnatural, like it was Spider-Man climbing, or did he actually just climb up a wall? No, it's like Spider-Man climbing. Okay. He just scurried up there like a frightened kitten. <laughs> frightened kid from Queens. He's now, he's now on the roof of that building. Baruch, your turn. Finally. All right, now. Hmm. Let's see here. I think those bears can handle it. Uh, I'm going to take the attack of opportunity. Uh, there's something I'm going to want to do to Malin, make sure she sticks around for the rest of this. 
So I'm going to move, move it here. You can resolve that however you want. The kobold takes a swipe. This is... All right. And then I am actually out because I want to make sure this hits. I'm going to be doing Booming Blade, but I'm also going to be doing uh, Tides of Chaos to make sure to roll it with advantage. Impossible. It can't be done. He's a madman. <laughs> uh, Tides of Chaos, imagine, is a, it's like a bonus <laughs> option. It, it, they, no, what it is is it lets me roll, it lets me gain advantage on any one attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. Right. Also, and, and this hasn't come up before. Next time I, before I get it back after a long, I will get it back. I, I, we'll talk about it later. There, there's a little extra to that, but only if you want it to be. So I think you activated a bunch of trap cards. <laughs> It, it, it basically you, you you can when I before I get the ability back after the next long rest, you can make me have to roll for wild magic. The, we'll we'll come back to that later. Uh, uh, but as I said, I'm going to I'm going to be doing booming void on uh, Valine there. She's not going to be doing any more jumping around. Okay, make sure I get this right. He's oh. making an attack, right? Uh, yes, at, at advantage. So, oh, it didn't really matter either way. Okay. Uh, so and the yeah, and the booming blades didn't really matter. How do you want to kill her? Or not kill her? Alright. Okay, as... You know what? I kind of... I, I want to... I'm not going to kill her. I'm going <gasps> to... As I as I bring the blade down, I know that... I see that she's just about... And I, just, and I swing... And I hit her with the haft of my axe instead of the blade. And you hear this big... Boom! As I do so turns around like three times on her heel all dazed so she falls over unconscious and I as I do this I turn back to the cold and I say surrender seeing her, her his mistress fall in battle he immediately puts up his arms I give up I give up <laughs> Great, and that was a very good turn. I like that. In the distance, you just hear Argus go, "Ha ha!" Hmm. I can say, "You're next." You're next, you little flighty maggot. <laughs> Okay. Flighty maggot? <laughs> flighty maggot. Oh, I heard flighty as well. <laughs> Alright, this is your turn. <laughs> okay. I don't want to be flighty around this guy. <laughs> so she is knocked unconscious? Yeah. She's unconscious. Okay. Alright. Um... Gosh. Cabold is done. He, he he wants none of this. I'm so to, I don't want to use up my last wild shape. I don't know what Josie Joey's got in store for us the rest of the day. But Oh no this I think this is probably the end of the day. But you I know we haven't we haven't uh, the Cthulhu monster hasn't come out yet. Yeah. yeah so, I but, don't think it I'm gonna move to here. I'm gonna step on on her a little bit. Whoop! Sorry, and I'm gonna try to. Who's that now? Thorn whip that one. <laughs> so a twenty-one. 
Oh, it hits. Okay. Uh, for seven piercing, and um, because he is large or smaller, I pull the creature up to ten feet closer. Um, I might as well pull it to that ten feet to make it... Yeah, so it'll have to move. Yeah, that's fine by me. And then, um... Would you say it would? You just pulled it off the roof. Uh, no, it's on the ground. So I move there, and then I'll just. No, uh, Joey specifically said that the that that uh, vampire yeah, he's, guy. He's, at, he's attacking the ghoul. Oh. I uh, look look further south. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're we're probably like two or three buildings down at least. Yeah, Argus I'm sorry. Or Sashi. You already made, made your attack. So, so. Yeah, I was just moving. And then, so that's okay. it for Zizix. And then old Bearface is going to get to here. He's going to do his, on that same guy, um, the old Bite Claw. Does an 18 hit? 18, 11... If an 18 oh. hits, then he's taken 22. 11 piercing and 11 slashing. He's dead. Okay. And then this he bear... Can. He's really dead. <laughs> oh. really. This bear is going to come... Uh... Does a bear have a climbing speed? It'll say climb speed on it, but so it probably doesn't climbing. because it's a bear. It does. Climb you're... 30 feet. Oh, I am, <laughs> I, you're right. They climb trees. <laughs> so I want to get on top of the roof too with this bear. I don't know how how that works. I want to know you, move, that... you can move you can move thirty feet by walking and then thirty feet by climbing. Holy crap! Okay, actually, no, 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 no. That's that's not how that works, Joey. My turn order went away. Climbing right. pl uh, all all speeds did de uh, decrease the amount of t thing right, you move right, regardless you're right, of you're what right, type right, it is. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Okay. 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 <laughs> Yeah, this one's mine. You you keep your filthy bear away. I'm gonna know. go. I am just gonna get this bear on this side, just in case. Well, Sally's what's got gonna, that covered. What's what's it gonna take to get this bear on that roof? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what we inquiring minds want to know. I, I want build know something. What might take longer than a minute? Can Sally ride the bear? Would Sally want to ride this bear? Yes. Okay, this bear moves over here <laughs> and, and gestures for Sally to climb on top. I'll get you over to the, I'll get you over to the uh the other battle, unless you're gonna stay here with them. But either way, maybe we'll get on the roof. That's just what's happening right now. And that is the end of uh these guys' turn. I, I, I feel like there's gotta be somebody inside the house that, oh no, no <laughs> don't, don't you dare go up on that roof. <laughs> That's just shingled it. God. I was gonna say, is this thatch roof because a bear made it? <laughs> Those are shingles. Those look like shingles. Okay. It's like, oh, I hope we're insured. That was Sashi. Your turn. Okay, so uh, I would like to climb up the uh, the side of the house. How would you like me to do that with just normal movements? Uh, halved because I don't have a climb speed. Give me an athletics check. Athletics or acrobatics? Either one. Yeah, oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, got stuck in a natural... Oh, it barely off of the natural one to a 13, so 15. I would say half speed. It Climbing climb would be half this, speed, uh, yeah. This, uh, 10 foot... 10 foot... 15 feet, but when things fair. It's up, it's up to you, yeah. I'll, I'll just get, like, right on... Uh, I, I can't... Oh, I can't get on top of the uh, thing, because there's a... There, there you go. Uh, so, is he... Are we now, like, in an actual distance away from him? Yeah, you're at eye level. I'm going to bonus action hit him with my... The other thing I should have done, Hexblade Curse. So he's cursed now, and that is not concentration. So I should have done that first, but I chose Hex instead. Uh, and then, as an action, I will go ahead and hit him with my with two Eldritch blasts. First one, natural twenty. 
Ugh. Oh. Seven damage. Second one. Natural one. I'm sorry, the uh, plus an additional three because uh, I have my Hexblade curse on him now. I do an extra three damage. Okay. With a crit, do you do any extra damage or does it already do the... I, it did the, I did the double dice and I got a six and a one, so it's like, son of a bitch. Mm. He's, he's starting to look hurt. A shout out to him. You're, you're coming for you. You do the thing where you point your eyes and point to him. <laughs> yeah, sure. So Sally, you can uh, climb onto this bear as your action. That is my action to climb onto the bear. Yep. Or, or, or you can try to climb up the uh, climb the thing. Hmm. Do I know where? Can I? Can I like sense where Argus is? He is here, glowing. I got. He is glowing, gives five feet of uh, bright light out, so. Uh, can I see it from where, where I am? You see the light, yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> Sally pushes a button on her console, and then uh, Baruch's booming voice says, Flighty Maggot, like uh, on loudspeakers. And uh, she casts Magic Missile at level two uh, at the source of this light. Did you, well, I don't mind, you, like, booming loudspeakers is good, but, like, isn't there a, uh, artific artificial thing where you can make, like, a recording? Yes, so that is, uh, magical tinkering. Yep. Okay. That's what you're doing? Yep. And so I, I, I uh, cast magic missile at level two. Um. You, you can't, you can't see him. He's on the roof. <laughs> oh. You, you can see the light halo coming off of him. You know he's up there, or something is up there, I should say. So, the, so Magic Missile would not be able to home in on that lo on him exactly then, right? You need, you need, you need to yeah. see the actual target, yeah. Oh, line of yeah, sight yeah. then. All right. I, I, I take that back. I don't cast Magic Missile number uh, level two. Um, magic Missile number nine. Let's see you here. Uh, how climb and then Magic Missile. I closed my eyes, I held my wand. I let him fly. From, from, let's see, if I was to move down to here, which is 30 feet, would I be able to see him? No, he's on a roof. Damn it. You're too close. All right. Um, you can oof. do a... Uh, hold action so that once you end up climbing up with the bear, then you fire. Is that allowed? Yeah, you're readying it. You'd probably you probably waste the charges. I don't know how it works with a. Uh, um, well, no, you just be you just be readying uh, interact with magic item. So yeah. All right. So I'll I'll, I'll use my action to climb on top of um, the bear king Zizix. Well, that's and... not that's just a minion. That's just right, a the minion of the Burger King Zizix. So <laughs> Sally's climbing. Sally hops off of her, uh, out of her mech, and climbs on top of uh, the Burger King Zizix, and she readies magic missile level two, um, which will hit this amount that I have already rolled onto Argus. Should he become visible? Everybody got that. Let's say you mo use your movement to get onto the bear. Then your action. Climb that, speed, technically. Le <laughs> yeah, 11. Uh, well, they're doing all of that. I I'm stuck uh, having to do cleanup duty. Uh, so... <laughs> yeah, you're... Just... Like, well, oh, you're... so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> you're, so... you're doing... You're very good at it. You're doing the Lord's work. I've had to single-handedly kill all of the ghouls. I killed one of them. <laughs> uh, 25, 25 hit. Uh, 15 plus 8. At least he one-shot him. <laughs> He's dead. Alright, and let's see if I've got the distance to do anything else.
Nah, just 30 feet. Uh, so... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to have a me moment, and I'm going to just do a uh, healing word on myself. Uh, for seven damage. I guess, let's see, five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> How long does that silver light last? Uh, one uh, minute. And uh, I think it's been like five or six rounds. Yes, it's about half. Um, so he, he regains a little bit of health. Because he is not in sunlight, he's just radiating it. It's also not directly, it's not sunlight itself. Either, yeah. So, yeah. It's not daylight or anything like that, just bright light. It's also nighttime. <laughs> so he looks around. That's just Sashi. This bear with the crazy Warforged girl on it, trying to, about to climb up this roof. His army, him and his enemy's army slaughtered on the, on the floor below him. One of his uh, rival rivals unconscious on the ground, and all eyes are on him. And uh, he's basically going to dash away through the town, escaping. Um, I don't think I would be able to keep up with him because he is cursed. I can move thirty feet and then teleport. Another thing. So unless he's faster than me or can stay far enough away from him, I wouldn't be able to catch him. His move is 30. Yeah, so... So let's just uh, pretend he's running away right here. Okay. Well, I see him. Um, yes. Does that mean I can do my like magic some... missile automatically? It's like 120 feet, right? For magic missile. Yeah. It is. Yep. Yeah. yeah, 120 feet. Yeah, so as he jumps down, I will say you get a good look at him. It takes uh, 17 damage. Let's hope to avoid that. <laughs> the damage to the butt. But now he's. Fighting maggot. He's uh, running full speed, basically. <laughs> so they got to report back to... Have to report back to, uh, to Mortus. Yeah, you know, tell us your boss's bit. name some more. <laughs> <laughs> so this is basically between Zorsashi and him right now. No, okay. no one else can catch up. So Zorsashi, what do you do? Yeah. I, does Lemon still have uh, his wings? I probably glanced over at them. Um, I, I, at this point, they're probably fading away. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to go run after Argus. Um, I will let it be up to you if I can catch him or not with either my dashing or just teleporting to him within 30 feet. Because my speed is also away. 30 feet. Yeah, so his maximum speed is 60. My maximum speed is 60, regardless of whether I dash or tell it. Well, I shouldn't. I say I should. Let me clarify. I can move 60 feet. And then if after that, I'm within 30 feet of him, I can teleport as long as I can see him as well. So I could potentially move up to 90 feet. Yeah, so after you after you're dashing, you're close enough for your for your teleport. I will, so yeah, I will do that. I'll just get right behind him. Behind him, okay. So but you can't attack. You know, he'll pro yeah, I can't attack, but hopefully he'll he won't hear the bamf. <laughs> <laughs> I think, don't you control the noise, right? <laughs> I have no idea what it sounds like, but it's probably a bamf. I think people like a thunder clap or something because <laughs> like all that air that's been displaced. Uh, yeah. It's it's squeaky. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, and that, that'll be my turn for that turn. I'll just I'll land right behind him, hopefully hoping he doesn't notice me, but who knows. Roll a roll stealth check. Ooh. Or, or a, a stealth roll. Take it. 16. Equals. He has a plus three perception. So it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So he does hear you. Okay. Stops dead in his tracks. I'm dead in his tracks. <laughs> you see some of his wounds, wounds close up. Um, I've never if everyone else will start ch chasing after them, I'll say it'll, it'll take you a round to uh, to get to them. Well, I've got two rounds. I've got forty movement, so I can just if I hit dash, I'll be going eighty. I assume he attacks me. So twenty-five reaches oh, out hit. his hands. But instead of attacking, grabs onto you. Mm. You were now grappled. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to beat a 25 grapple check. Oh, no, that's... This is actually special. If he... Oh, if he okay, either sure. Use that, use that as an attack or a grapple. Okay. So then he's going to fight with advantage. Does a 16 hit? Just hits and I don't have a uh, shield. So you take nine piercing damage from his fangs. Okay. Nine necrotic from his uh, poison. Okay. In his fangs. I don't have any healthy. constitution thing up, so good. Now um, I, I I'm starting to notice a flaw in your tactic. I well, why is everybody moving to him? We it's not your turn. Joey, does anything else happen to me? Do I have to roll another check? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, I must be immune to the paralysis. No, the paralysis was on the other thing. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to shoot this. Okay. You're still grappled. Maruk, you're running towards them. I was... I, I I can clock it at 80 if I need to. So... Yeah, yeah you're not quite there. You maybe throw a spear at him. Oh yeah, I do have a javelin, don't I? Uh... Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna move everyone down here. Basically where they are right now. We're we're at least Baruch. you know, three blocks away from everybody. Maruki would be like right there. But you just dash, so you can't attack. Are you, are you following them? <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, let me move this out of the way. Right there. And uh, one of your bears with Sally. Oh, they can move, they can move 40. So they're they're full fast. sprint. They're like right here. He could have just climbed over that building and jumped off. <laughs> so he can go. He can go the full forty. Masashi. <laughs> uh, I bamf to f out of his grapple. Can you to just behind that? him? That's cool. Like, I move between to uh, any feet, anything five feet uh, within him. I believe is the proper thing. Unoccupied space. I can see within five feet of the target, cursed by my uh, hex or curse feature. And then I'm going to go ahead and take two attacks on him. 
Let me turn on my Hexblade thing. First one. 25 to hit. Yep. And good. Uh, it should do another uh, plus three to that, so that should be... Uh, 16. Okay. Second hit. Second attack. Wait, 22 to hit. And damage. Uh, 10 damage. It's looking hurt. I shout out to anybody coming. Not gonna last that long, hurry up! <laughs> he says to you, That's a nice blade you got there. Yeah, it's Hexblade, what? and it only works for me. <laughs> what master do you serve? Oh, I should have come up with my backstory. Um... <laughs> One that cannot be seen without the right eyes. And you, you don't have the right eyes. So cool. Uh, so we're both bound in servitude to another. Perhaps. Perhaps not. He smiles and goes, Oh, there's no question. I just Sal, you're flip, I flip my blade around and I just like bring it on. <laughs> Sally pushes another button and then a recording of um of, of Zora says it's like it's not gonna last very long, long like echo <laughs> and then she casts magic missile level one. <laughs> oh. Wait, so even the mech is on top of the bear? Yes. She did. Okay. <laughs> she ripped out the gun part. <laughs> of the bear? Yeah, oh, sure. <laughs> she has, she has like a little around. little mini get little mini cannon with her. <laughs> he turns around, he goes, uh, uh Lemon, you can basically uh. dash catch up, but sorry, you can't move. Yep, pretty much. In fact, I should be a little behind because I'm not as fast as them. He heals up a little bit. You're still gra oh, Well, you're not grappled because you teleported, right? Yes, I am no longer grappled. Okay. Gonna claw at you. Twenty. Take eight slashing damage. Hit. That was a crab magic missile shot. <laughs> and uh opens his mouth wide. You know, like the way too wide openness. Yeah. It's supposed to be scary, but it actually looks kinda of silly. Seventeen. That'll hit. Okay. You take <laughs> six. So you take six necrotic, or six piercing, six necrotic. Uh, and I'm down. It, it says the target dies if this effect reduces its hit point maximum to zero. Hit point maximum. What, has my maximum been decreasing from being hit by him? Oh, that's right. The maximum. Oh, well, I, for, yeah. I forgot you have been, been taken off. Okay, so it's not reaching. Yeah, half, half the hits have been half the hits have been decreasing my maximum. So because Ooh. the bites aren't, or the the claws aren't, just the bites. Uh, he's been yeah. bitten three times. If that helps. Yeah. So reduce your hit points by another twelve. But you Works are. For me. Your maximum hit. Okay, I was I was scared. It's like this seems too easy for someone to die. Yeah, yeah. But I see what it, I, I see what it says now. Yeah. <laughs> you, 
Um, <laughs> but well, maybe you, someone should have run into had him run into a wall, Joey. <laughs> No, I am down, and uh, the Hexblade curse does release from him because I am incapacitated. I, you're just egging him on to just have a some random intellect devourer show up next. <laughs> right, Rook. How close am I? Just, I'm with this actual distance, or we approximate? Okay, approximate. Maximum distance. I mean, Which, yeah, like what you see is what you're at. Ignore right. the, the big tree. Okay. Uh, hmm. Actually, it would have made more sense to put you over, over here. But it doesn't matter. Don't do it. <laughs> you got deep. Alright, I guess we can do more damage. Right. Do do do. Um... He, is, he, is, he is looking very hurt. The uh, the he's no longer branded either, so because that, that that's actually concentration, so that might have gone at another point. But um, he's no longer glowing, so. Mm. Maru decides to take a chance and make sure he wants to make sure this guy goes out, so he's going to cast chromatic orb. Yeah, so we're not gonna take him hostage. Nope. We have, we have no we have no way we have no way to uh, contain him safely. So, I mean, we have a paladin. Where? Aren't you? Can't you Where? No, I'm Blackman. <laughs> he's a nothing. Uh, nothing to There's indicate a... that he has any sort of holy power whatsoever. He's a he's a, he's he's a, a sixteen hit. He's a humble Fair blacksmith. Enough. Fair enough. <laughs> sixteen just hits him. He takes 18 fire damage. Just instantly? Yeah. Just so as Argus goes down to take another bite of Zorsashi and he goes, Ah, you would make a fine servant for the master. Uh, Maruk will describe how this chromatic orb is sitting right It's just Argus. It's just this basic... Uh, well, the spell describes it as a four-inch diameter sphere of energy. So it's just like this basically... I would say softball-sized... Just ball. And I just it's, a, it's a Mega Man pellet. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I just... <laughs> it's basically a Mega Man pellet. And it's just this big old flaming... It's just a softball-sized flaming... I just toss it at this guy. And I... And I beat him in the head with it. And he just catches a flame. Four inch diameter. That's actually... That's heavy, four inch. right? It, it's, actually, kind of like, it's like one of those orbs that has the uh, electricity in it that uh, that when you put your hand on it... Plasma, plasma ball. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's like a so plasma... Really, this here... Yeah, so basically you bonk him right in the head and it Decides to go right through his head. Oh. And all of a sudden, well, gets up. Well, it's a fireball, basically. And he's... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so he catches... He catches Gross. fire. He's flailing around. And he goes, No one's gonna help me this time. <laughs> and he, uh... Turns to Ash. Oh, Argus, what have you got yourself into? Oh, oh, Argus, poor Argus. I did post that damage. <laughs> Very nice. And then, and then I run up and go like, and I run up and go and check up on, uh, well, this is right of combat now. I, well, well, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I can expire in 12 seconds. Uh, Zizix. You need to get over there and heal our heal our boy heal our boy up before he. I, I go heal our boy up. I'm stuck in a bush. Now I'm out of the bush. Okay. <laughs> I'm one with the bush. I have spare the dying. I could have done it for free. Uh, but I'm gonna heal heal him. You're arguing over who's gonna heal me, and I'm slowly dying. 
You just <laughs> take... You healed 15. That would have been fine. Thank you. That was a close one. We almost lost you. Thanks to me, we didn't, though. And my Physics. quick thinking. Did you teleport to, to save me? Yes. Bamf brothers for life. I, I fist bump him. And then I explained to him how a fist bump works. I, he's I, never done it before. I, I fist bump with my tail. Uh, oh, Did I take I my tail right? out. I, ta I tail fist bump him too. Oh no! <laughs> I forgot you have a tail. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Yo, bro. All right. Well, we that was that went better than I thought it did. So, um, what are we gonna do with this cultist that we picked up? Well, first we have to travel the you know 150 feet back to her. So I'm gonna I'm gonna first uh, search oh, no. the uh, the vampire. She's gone. <laughs> so she might be. She was a rogue and. Uh... With the hide action and all that, Joey was itching to hide. Yeah. I would like to search the vampire, though, in the meantime. Does he have anything on him? You don't think well, she's, you don't she's think gone he now. Was a, well, this will on. You, you don't think he was a true vampire. Just a vampire spawn. Yeah. And, uh... It's comic book see... rights are stuck in legal limbo. <laughs> You do see the um, the, the uh, skull symbol branded on on his forehead once he moved around his uh, matted hair. He was a luckily, not luckily his suit. luckily his forehead didn't turn to ash. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, that's right. He turned to ash. You can't see it. <laughs> yeah. <All right. laughs> Whoops. You would know by the ghouls that they are, are branded by the. I, uh, I look around and then he cats around. Maybe they'll. Uh... They'll need a litter box. All right, let's head back. I should have waited, but when you return to the uh, alleyway, the kobold and uh, the elf are gone. Oh yeah, we just kind of left him just with his hands up, didn't it? Didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> he, he looked like all his dead friends. <laughs> 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 But you do see where her body was. Um, something must have fallen out of one of her pockets. Um, see a pair of lenses and a uh, with a note um, next to it. Must have fallen out of her pocket. Somebody read the note. Hey, I guess I put on the. I guess I kind of balance the lenses on my. I wear the lenses and I look at the note. I, well, I I detect magic on the lenses first. I'm all the way over there. Um, you don't detect any magic from the lenses. All right, they're safe to put on, Maruk. <laughs> I would have been fine. What's the note say? So the if it's in Elvish, if it's in hand, if it's in sign language held Elvish, I can probably read it. <laughs> it is common. In sign language. It is common. It says, "It says the lenses show the secrets of the map." Well, where's the map? That was. Well, I was start looking around all the other kobolds. Is there any maps on the kobolds? Search. Uh, Search the other kobolds. You don't find anything of value. <sighs> I'm sure that won't cut. I'm sure letting her get away won't come back and bite us. Well, we killed the we vampire. Like no, the biting would be if the vampire got away. Yeah. Well, true enough. From the alleyway, you see Dardagon. American big fellow in the giant iron spider run up. American and Dardagon seeing out of breath. We heard thunder. We had to get our battle armor ready. And all my darts. 
Did you pass by a kobold and a probably nearly uh, dead human elf. on the way over here? Elf? There's an elf. Oh, you mean the... I should say... Dardingon goes, oh, you mean the pretty elf that lives at the at the shop? The redhead? She, yeah, we kind of we saw her kind of limp away. I hope she's okay. Uh, she's a cultist. She's, yeah, she's in league with the kobolds. He lets out the biggest swear you, you've ever heard. <laughs> she is a cult. He, she was a cultist of uh, Talos. So, oh, we 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 hate we hate Talos. Yep. That, the big you swear that the um, the big swear that uh, D'Artagnan said uh, is now in Sally's uh, data banks, and she pushes a button over and over again. Uh -oh. <laughs> big fella goes, goes, child, you are not of age. <laughs> She pushes the swear button again. <laughs> oh. Tonight, you uh, go to bed without dinner. <laughs> Isn't that like every night? He doesn't know. Dardagon goes, man, remember when we fought the giant lightning boar? From the Cult of Talos? Yeah. All it works with like Lightning? Uh, have you uh -huh. ran any orcs yet? Um, I... Just, just the ones that do tattoos. Lightning boar? Yeah, we, uh, we ran into a, a boar made of lightning. Okay. Uh, killed it pretty dead. It was a good time. Indeed. Well, uh, Does anybody, Dark, um... tells you, Dark tells you that, um, or Vertican tells you, uh, well, they were heading out of town to the, uh, to the west on the Tribor Trail. Um, is it that, so if you want to chase after her, but she's probably long gone by now. Yeah, I think she's gone. I mean, she has a limp and, oh, boy, I... Yeah, she's definitely rest. long gone and not hiding behind that corner right there. <laughs> and look yeah, at that she corner. Could be hide she could be hiding anywhere, too. So She could even be you. <laughs> or you. <laughs> or even did, uh, you. Did any of you, when you were checking out the attractive redhead at the shop, notice a map that she may have had? Um, human? Robot? Sally shakes her head. Dragar? Giant spider? I've never noticed any any map that they're selling, though. Mm. Mm, I, mean, I don't think... They weren't looking at a map, I don't think, when we were in there. Mm. Maybe well, it works on any map. Does anybody have a map of the, the area? Maybe if we shine a light through the lenses, maybe wait, it'll project did, something. Wait, did big does a big fellow have didn't big fellow have like guitar tools? I mean you wait, have what? a map. Yeah, we have... you find a let's let's say you head back to the tavern. We, we go we go to we go to the uh, the kiosk from uh Corellin and there's a local map where her kiosk light touches the land. <laughs> Really monetize this Corellin thing, huh? <laughs> Glory. Andrew, you um, you lay out a map of the uh, of the Sword Coast. You have all I... your uh, all the points on the map of your previous adventures, circled with highlight routes. And you reminisce over your time at the at Falcon's Lounge or Lodge, and uh, and um, do the spectacles reveal anything? I was trying to think of the gnome place. Uh, it's not gnome gone, but wherever the gnome place was. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you put on the spectacles, and uh, you don't see the map any differently. Maybe you're using it wrong. Maybe there's a certain map it needs. That is a safe bet. I get, we can go back to the the 
the coster and search it real quick. Nomengrad, doesn't he? At Did this point, it is at the coster. At this point, it's the middle of the night. Oh, we'd have to break in. Oh. Well, in the morning. Yeah, I, I guess we just call it a night then. I mean, it's not I much could uh, definitely use. I I touch the puncture wounds on my neck. Uh, a yeah. Full night to heal. Uh, are Are you looking okay? I uh, I'm hoping these these get better after a good night's rest. If not, I will. This normally this normally dark red skin is looking a little muted. A little pink. Yeah. <laughs> you turn pink when you're sick. <laughs> I was bit by a rabid vampire. It wasn't even a full vampire. Come on. It was Come a on. it was a it was a Rinfield. I believe the term is. Either okay. way, he bit me. Probably gave me rabies. Should probably sleep this off. I will check into the morning to make sure I feel better. Now, I would like to have some tea. Mm. Barkeep, one of your finest tea. Uh, we're yeah, out. Um, <laughs> Stone Hill was uh, awoken up like half, half the town, and he, uh, he goes, oh, I can't get to sleep now, and he brews up some tea for you. That was nice. Much, much appreciated. I guess I'll take some mushroom wine. Then they... I, I tip him a silver. Are you going to have a headache in the morning, Maruk, if you drink this late? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. That's what he always says. But seeing that it is middle of the night, it's not very exciting. You kind of Get your bearings and uh, settle down a little bit. And uh, Tobin offers you um, free rooms upstairs. He says like, right. you don't have to take the stink. You don't have to take the stinky one. <laughs> Much appreciated, Master Stonehill. Sally doesn't care. She'll take the stinky one. I can't imagine the town master's face when he sees the bodies you left behind. <laughs> I'm sure he's got a clean-up crew. Technically, some of the, the undead bodies were already dying and decrepit, so... Uh... We only did half the damage. You said you had run-ins with these cultists closer to the coast. Now they're all the way up here in Fandolin. Just hiding, just hiding among us. Who knows what they told their masters. Hiding among us, yes. Right. I'm gonna detect magic. Just look around the room, see if anybody is necrotic looking. <laughs> Do we have any neck... Oh, the bar... <laughs> Uh, the bar was closed, basically, but Tobin is... Uh, okay, well, I'll do it on Tobin. From battle. Yeah. Toblin. I'll do it on Tobin. I, I assume he's not oh, necrotic. You, you look at him, you get right close to him, and he's like, What are you looking at, son? But you don't oh, see the usual. You, you, got oh, something he... right, you got something right here, and I just I point to my cheek. Oh, okay. Probably the most okay. magic thing you see is probably the, the mushroom wine that I'm drinking. Mushroom wine and all of our yeah, magic items, just, probably. Just to see a barrel of mushroom wine glowing. We don't know where they're situated. They could not just be on the coast. They could be up and down the entire tribal trail and the high road. I think it could be in Neverwinter itself. I mean... I wouldn't be surprised. Not that it... I mean, it's a big enough town that I don't think they'd be able to do much there. Big enough city. True. Is this door that to the back storeroom, is it locked or unlocked? Sally is feeling curious. Unlocked. Unlocked. Sally walks into the back and looks around 
and uh, goes to this cellar and wants to see if, what's underneath it. Um, that is locked. Oh. But you see a room full of barrels and provisions. And... Is there any um? Is there any uh mushroom wine back here? Barrels and barrels of them. All right, so Sally was just to cast Purify Food and Drink on it, so that way it doesn't hurt Uncle Maruk anymore. What does that do to alcohol? Make it non-alcoholic? So that's what I'm hoping. That's, so that way... Yeah, that's generally how I've always interpreted that you could... You're essentially, you're essentially making it so it's not harmful to the body, and alcohol is technically harmful being a diuretic. So... Yeah, so, so she casts... How much water does it... How much water does it do? How much water? Um, All like, non-magical uh, food and drink within a five-foot radius sphere. So, yeah, you turn um, a few of these caskets into uh, mushroom juice. <laughs> <laughs> mushroom milk. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Uncle Maruka is going to kick the habit one way or another. Yeah, let's say uh, he's purified all their mushroom wine. Now it's just mushroom juice. <laughs> all that fermenting. <laughs> uh, just undone. <laughs> months of months. Years of work. Just, yeah. So, so all, you all, all, work those, all those work those gnomes did to harvest them. Just gone. I. I, I I thought the necrotic magic was was bad, but but this, you know, <laughs> wait, this is he, he must see some dark energy coming from the back room suddenly. Mister Mister yeah, Lennon, you see this big flash of light, and then you see <laughs> Sally walk out. Sally, what did you do? Uh, Sally pushes a button, and then D'Artagnan's big swear comes out. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. Le Mr. <laughs> Lennon. Um, so you had wings. Pretty sure I saw wings. I was away for most of it, but I glanced over, and you had wings. Oh, I'm. Oh, um, <laughs> uh, you, you, it, it must have been the blood loss. Um, uh, I, I don't. I. I I, a blacksmith can't do something like that. No. I, I kind of walk over and sit down. And I'm like, uh, I'm. I was pretty close, and I wasn't. I didn't lose that much blood. I saw the wings too. <laughs> yeah. Sally. Uh, Sally shows her only drawing that she did that during that entire battle. It's of Uncle Lemon with wings. Uh, what the. Uh... You've you've done some anti-ghost stuff in the past, and I always thought that was a you know a neat little side hobby that you were ashamed of, didn't want to talk about while doing your main hobby of blacksmithing. But you had wings. It's all right. It's it's just not something that I like to talk about. Um, I I don't mean to pressure you, but. Yeah, I, I I just have to ask. I'm, I'm just guessing here, throwing out a guess. Uh, half celestial. Not as thing, far as I'm concerned. Thing. I I had a I I had a human mother and father, and so as far as I am concerned, I am fully human. It's just I seem to have always been able to do extra things and occasionally um uh occasionally celestials have visited me before but uh i like wanted me to go off be a hero and uh, all that stuff but it's a uh, i do i do say you were quite heroic with uh sending all of those those zombies and the vampire himself running that uh Saved the day, honestly. I thought we were going to be doomed. They're goners. I'm um, guessing... Just yeah. another guess here, but... 
I think you might have had an ancestor at one point or another that must have been a celestial. Rece recessive genes, you know. Atavistic, I believe the term is, but yeah. It, 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 it ultimately it doesn't matter. You're you. That's all that matters. Thank you. It just happens to be another this just happens to be more of you than we expected. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I, like I how, certainly. It's kind of like how uh, Zorsashi is a tiefling because his ancestors were, were made cursed. A devil. <laughs> yeah, that that all, honestly, all this talk about angelic wings. Hey, Toblin, could you uh, could you whip us up some buffalo wings? Thanks. <laughs> What's a oh, buffalo? <laughs> He goes, uh, in the morning. <laughs> it's a little oh, late. Sorry. I'm, I'm always jet-lagged over here. I, I just <laughs> ask that none of you bring it up with anybody else, if you can. Especially not the religious folk. I, uh, not... They tend, to, they, tend to, they tend to get a little, uh, uh, recruit happy about it. Uh, yeah, especially the Lathander people. And they were angelic ring wings, right? Not, not like skeletal wings. Oh no, 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 no! They were fully light. Just I'm, full I'm, saying light that as, I'm saying that out of character. I'm just yeah. asking out of character. Okay. Um, All right. Of course. Uh, Love the word. They're one of the reasons why I've moved further uh, further south than where I used to live. Ah. Uh, you moved uh, into a town where the main church is the Church of Lathander. <laughs> Do you, um, Mr. Lemon, think that this is... I'm not going to turn into a vampire, am I? Point to my bites. How should I know? I'm a blacksmith. Fair, fair enough. I, uh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll one more time check, see what I can think <laughs> about. Let's see if I can remember anything from my times and, and sigil about anything. You think he you was just a, a good night for us? Yeah, just just sleep on it. You'll be fine. I think he he was just a spawn, not a full vampire. Good. Well, I, I guess that's positive. Hmm. Thank you for having my uh, my back. I know I saw you all come running. Luckily, Zizix knows how to teleport. I've been teaching him. Bamf. Hey. Bamf. Oh, oh. Hey, I lit that guy up like a torch. So. <laughs> now as you're having, having your conversation, darting on, throws a dart, perfect bullseye, and he goes, I'm back, baby. Hmm. So I look, up, look over. Huh. N never seen looks, again looks for little... the rest of the convention. <laughs> <laughs> Little, little larger than regulation bullseye. It seems. Yeah, I'm sure it's just my imagination. I'm tired. And, uh, it's a side I, I, the vampire I, I, bite. I, I know, just Let him have this. <laughs> Y'all have a uh, good night's long rest. Awesome. Hooray! We did not die.